Hello everybody, welcome back to iCommand. We've got another game log review for you. Second one for the week. Uh, and I was told by Morgan and Derek that this is definitely a game not to miss for game log reviews. This was from week one of the Purgle Competitive Vassal League. And we've got uh, so two steering committee members playing, so you know it's going to be a good time. And we've got... Uh, Derek on the left side, red deployment zone, playing a very classic Derek list. Uh, we've got IG88 with uh, Onar and MHD. That's kind of the calling card for Derek. Uh, he's played MHD in a lot of lists with scum droids. Um, he's also got uh, let's see, we've got uh, Cad Bane as a card from Season 7. ICP, as well as an elite Jawa who is bringing along R2D2 and C3PO, a regular Jawa, Devious Scheme, and the Smuggling Compartment. Uh, so, nothing from Season 8, so that's cool. A lot of old figures in this list. Uh, in fact, Cad Bane and Smuggling Compartment are the only ICP cards in this list. Uh, Morgan playing some newer cards. We've got Baze, Malbus from uh, Season 8 here, the most recent ISCP season. Also got IG-11, the uh, newer counterpart to IG-88. Came out in the Mandalorian show and it released in Season... Wow, way back in Season 4 of ISCP. He's also got the upgraded or updated Garkon, as well as CT-1701, and the new Sasuke, who you saw on the screen earlier, uh, from Season 8 as well as the Rebel Care Package, R2-D2, Gideon, and C-3PO with Heroic Effort. And we're playing on the Abandoned Research Map for Target Initiative Lab, so this is the one that has the eight uh, weapon tokens um, alongside the objective tokens along the middle of the map. And a figure can spin an action to pick up a weapon token uh, and <clears throat> whenever it attacks during its activation, it can add a dice of that color to its attack pool uh, once per activation. And let's see, we'll scoot this over. It looks like Morgan is going to be starting off with initiative here. Uh, oh, and that's because Derek has Devious Scheme in his list. So Derek gets to choose the deployment zone, and Morgan gets stuck with initiative. So kind of the worst of both worlds there, thanks to that one-point investment in Derek's list. Uh, so let's get into the gameplay here. Both players drawing, and smuggling compartment is out. That's going to take effect at the end of the round, uh, before the status phase. So Morgan starting off. Oops, looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Morgan has eight, and Derek also has eight activations. So Derek gonna be getting the last activation here. Gonna draw a card R2 D2 for Morgan. R2's gonna draw a card for Derek as well. And it looks like Gideon activating for Morgan. Gonna play planning to draw two more cards. I always, whenever you're drawing this many cards, I always check for spies. Interestingly, Morgan does have Sasuke, who is a spy. So that smuggling compartment on Derek's side, which lets you kind of phase your hand out in, a, in response to an opponent playing a command card. Excellent defense against spy cards, which tend to do disrupt the hand. And... Uh, let's see... So yeah, that, that might be relevant if Morgan put, like, Intelligence Leak in his list for Sasuke. Um, Alright, so we had... Who got focused here? Did Gideon not focus anybody? Yeah, there we go. It's Gideon. I uh, was thinking about moving IG-11, but instead it moved uh, Garkon. And by the way, IG-11, a scum figure, is in this list because Sasuke has retained her uh, shady contacts. Uh, ability, so able to bring in a scum figure into the rebel list. And so focused Garkon. And I am C3PO, human cyborg. <laughs> and this is my counterpart, Arkham Interesting, I've not heard that sound effect. I'm not sure what made it either. <laughs> I 
also no idea if that was super loud. Vessel just a little bit, just in case. Alright, so Sasuke is activating. I'm gonna give a device token to Garcon there. I'm gonna move up to the terminal. Okay, Jawa activated for Derek and open the door to the treehouse area. That's what we refer to as this square. It's the treehouse. It's a very secure spot, although he has a lot of figures kind of out in the open there. CT. So it looks like Morgan's going to be ignoring that uh, top area of the map and going to be moving towards the middle door by the terminal. Okay, and Cad Bane gonna activate, gonna be able to pick up a green weapon. Yep, Morgan's moving all his figures onto his terminal. Ooh, interesting. So IG88, uh, double moving for Derek, and looks like <coughs> Cad Bane is gonna be giving him a free movement point on his activation, allowing him to open the door here. Did he play... Let's see. The start of another figure's activation. A friendly hunter within four spaces. One, two, three, four... Okay, so he played Blaze of Glory. Oh, I see. So he did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <coughs> So IG-88, thanks to his um, focused on the kill attachment, gets free two free movement points. He has five speed, and then because of Cad Bane's um, ability, he was able to get one more movement point at the start of his activation. So he was able to move eight, eight with one action, open the door with the second action, and now we're seeing Blaze of Glory. So this, he's gonna light these guys up here. So this is a cool play uh, by Derek. Um, Alright, so IG-88 activating second time this round, and he's performing an attack targeting Bay's Malbus. So Relentless triggers and discards second chance to the Strain. So Bay's going to take 5 damage from that attack, and now thanks to Relentless, he gets to attack one more time. Discards take initiative from the top. So that's rough because now Derek knows he's going to have initiative going into round two. But I think he's trying to hold on to Baze. Oh, Baze has parry. So right now he would have been doing five damage. Uh, no bib in this list. No bib Fortuna. And then parry is going to stop two damage from that surge. So going to take three damage here. And now uh, IG does get two movement points. It's going to step back one space. And it looks like we're going into round two here. Derek's going to get initiative. There's no take initiative coming from Morgan. So this is pretty much perfect for Derek. He now gets to activate IG again to get two more attacks. That is going to be a dead base. Oh, but Baze has final stand. This is his command card. Uh, it should be two points uh, because it, it, it needed to get updated, but <clears throat> it's a two point card. Uh, and he let, basically, it's kind of like Dying Lunge for Baze, but it gives him a power token as well. So I'm going to go ahead and attack IG, who gets plus one block. Did five damage to IG, who already had three damage on him from Blades of Glory. Okay. 
Okay, so that's seven points for, oh, five, uh, what is that? It should be six points for Derek. And now IG is going to just retreat with his second action and deny the reply, response kill from Morgan. And IG now very safe <coughs> next to 3PO and within three spaces of MHD. So perfect textbook play from Derek there with IG. End of round, get the blaze of glory, get the two attacks, start a round, get another attack and run away. And uh, again, focus on the kill gives IG those extra two movement points uh, so he's able to move seven spaces. Alright, so interesting. Uh, on Gideon's activation from Morgan, uh, Cad Bane used I Make the Rules Now to give himself a free movement point to be able to move. Cabane definitely have to think ahead because he can't use that ability on his own activation. Okay. Now MHD is going to activate and heal, uh, heal up IG's damage that he took with that medical loadout. All right. Uh, now we're going to see Garkon come up with a charge to attack Cad Bane here. And that is a pretty good roll. It's going to be six damage. Oh, we missed. There's an extra red. Oh, that was a re-roll from Sasuke's device token. And then he was able to re-roll that yellow into a red for a big, big damage boost. Uh, so that's going to be eight damage. Which I think is just one short of finishing off Cad Bane, who has uh, nine health. All right, and Cad Bane is within three spaces of MHD. So, did in fact did we see a miracle worker there? Uh, no, he would have more, but he's going to retreat Cad Bane out of there. So Derek is ahead, so now he can kind of put it, uh, he, he's put Morgan on the back foot and is kind of leaving it up to Morgan to push into his formation. Okay, R2 activated, drew a card and moved on to the objective. Oh nice, Derek using repair now by the Jawa. Continuing to heal all of that damage off of IG-88. Sasuke's going to pick up a red weapon, it looks like. And we've got the Elite Jawa from Derek sneaking around the back, attacking Sasuke, but looks like Garkon is going to play Get Behind Me to absorb that attack for her. And if he takes three damage from this, um, he could become readied with his command card. Interestingly, Derek does not have to spend surges, uh, so if he he could deal three damage max to Garkon, but it looks like he is just gonna go for two damage. Oh, because Garkon has the extra block, so he is gonna go for the bargain though. Spends one VP, gets two back. Okay, we're seeing fleet footed, played, and urgency. Oh, negation's gonna stop the urgency though. So CT, that was CT trying to play urgency. So he is gonna be able to get that green weapon though. And Jawa's just gonna activate and stay where he is, blocking line of sight. <coughs> and IG 11 now coming up. So Gideon did open that door for him, and now he's going to be able to shoot into this formation that Derek has left. But he does have to shoot the uh, Jawa. Interestingly, going to play guild programming, so I think hoping to one-shot the Jawa here easily. Yep, so the Jawa goes down, so now he gets to make a focus attack into Cad Bane. 
with that guild programming. Oh, there's a dodge though. And it looks like he doesn't have a way to cancel that dodge. That was rough. He really needed to push that kill through, trying to trigger something like uh, MHD's uh, Miracle Worker there. And that's going to be the end of the round. So Morgan finally going to get an initiative, but let's see if he can keep it. Because Derek might have take. Okay, yeah. Uh, unless this is a call of Vanguard. Nope, CT is activating. And I'm going to go for that elite Jawa who is all alone. This is going to be a big attack. He's got the green weapon and he's focused. Jawa blanks out. Now, interestingly, if you use Barrage, he could go for an attack on 3PO here. Uh, or not 3PO, R2D2, excuse me. But Oh no, I guess he can't because it has to be within three spaces of the original target. So yeah, he can't actually do an attack. Alright, so R2D2... So MHD activated, took off three damage off of Cad Bane. R2D2 is going all the way up to the blue objective for Morgan. So Morgan is trying to apply pressure to Derek outside of just attacking his figures by using the objectives. And I think that's really a good way to try and counter this strategy that Derek's got going on. I mean, obviously you have to keep attacking into him to, or, or else you'll just lose on material because <clears throat> he'll keep sending things out to take out your figures and then retreating. But if Morgan only tries to win the um, the damage game, he's going to lose that game against this list that Derek has with all the healing it has. So he has to play the VP game as well, and I think that's what he's doing. He's countering Derek's immobility by going after these objectives that are far away from Derek. He can't really go for the objectives that are right in front of Derek's group because that'll just play into his hands. So he's going for the yellow and blue objectives further away with his support figures. Um, let's see, what are we seeing here? Do we just see Disable get played? Alright, so... Looks like planning was played. And Derek's all focused up. He's got focus on Cad Bane, Onar, and even MHD. And IG88's focused now for with Gideon, and so or not IG88, IG11. So IG11 gonna go for the attack here on Onar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Range nine, but he is focused, and he's got a surge for plus two accuracy. Oh yeah, easy. So, re-rolls, not going to get that surge bonus, so right now he's doing 6 damage. Second attack, re-rolls, nice, gets the full 6 without needing any surges. So going to do 6 more damage. Oh, did he not get accuracy? Oh no, did he not have enough? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, he didn't have enough accuracy, his range 9. And he only had range 7, so that's a miss. Unfortunately, oh no, an owner is going to pick up a red weapon, which is pretty terrifying. Um, Alright, Sasuke activating. I'm going to play Heart of Freedom. She's focused. And she's going to go for it. Uh, Onar, I think Derek did not see this play coming because Onar is now very far away from his uh, support network. So I'm going to use her device token to re-roll the yellow and change it into a red. So I guess she did not... I thought she picked up a weapon. But I guess not. Oh yeah, there it is. So yeah, it should have been green, green, yellow, red. Okay, and that kills Onar. So Sasuke taking down Onar for Morgan. Always great when you're playing against MHD to isolate, when you can get an isolated figure away from MHD and get the kill, you always want to try and get it. So Onar going to drop his weapon 
but IG-88 now we're going to activate and take some revenge with Element of Surprise. Morgan's going to negate it though, so Sasuke is going to be able to keep that white dice. Uh, IG-88 playing tools for the job, going to add a red. Oh, and he's got the red token, the red uh, weapon as well, and oh, Sasuke blanks out. I think that's a dead Sasuke there. Yep, so Sasuke goes down, and unfortunately that does remove the power converter ability from Morgan. So Onar, or not Onar, um, Garkon, not going to be able to benefit from that device token any longer without Sasuke powering it. But Garkon is going to activate, going to be able to get all the way up to R2, D2 on Derek's side of the board and attack with Element of Surprise. Do five damage just short of a kill, it looks like. So, five damage and bleeding to R2. Alright, and now the initiative is going to go back to Derek here for round four. Morgan leading slightly thanks to the VPs and getting those two kills on the, or the three kills, the, the Jawas and, the, and Onar. Basically anything that Derek has left away from MHD. Um, and now it looks like Cad Bane's going to come up and take a shot. This is a focus attack with a green weapon. So this is going to hit hard. He will also get a power token from his flawless execution ability. So we're going to spend a surge token. Oh, and he's going to play just business, which I believe is going to give himself a reroll. Yeah, it basically gives him professional for the round. Oh, Garkon is going to play Iron Will. So going to probably reduce all of that damage down to just three, and which is perfect for Garkon because it allows him to trigger um, his Fury ability, his Fury command card, although unfortunately he's not, uh, he has not activated yet, so that's not going to work. But So we can see how much damage that would have done. Uh, four, five, six, pierce one. No, just six, so it would have done... Actually, it looks like it would have done exactly three damage anyway. So that's unfortunate. It did look like a big scary attack, though. Alright, Garkon gonna finish off R2. Oh, who gets lucky and rolls the blank, which is a... counts as a dodge for R2. And that is unfortunate. Another dodge for Morgan. And not able, quite able to get Garkon to safety there. Now IG-88 activating and going to move up and start working on IG-11. Uh, so that trigger is relentless, so Intelligence Leak is in Morgan's deck and gets discarded to the strain there. And IG-88 has that red weapon, so it's going to do red, red, green for epic arsenal, or arsenal ability, and then another red, so that's going to be 8 damage, and what card was that? Do you have the assassinate? No, that was just IG-11. So right now we are looking at oof, 8, 10, 9 damage going through. Okay, CT gonna activate. Gonna try and finish off R2 D2. That'll do it. No celebration yet for Morgan. That would really push him over the edge and kind of force it force Derek to take a little be a little bit more preactive. And 
All right, so it looks like time ended in this round, and so this is the last round. And it looks like Derek, now that he's activated both IG and Cad Bane, doesn't have any activations left that he can really score a big uh, victory point swing with. All he's got left is MHD and C3PO. <coughs> MHD could maybe kill three, um, Morgan's 3PO, but that wouldn't be enough to uh, turn the tide of this game here. And Morgan does still have... Uh, IG-11 to activate, so looks like that is going to be game uh, for Morgan as the winner, able to pull it back after that big uh, end of round, start of round play with IG-88 by Derek, so uh, really well played, great game by both players, and thanks everybody for watching, by the way that was round, that was from week 2 of the competitive league, I think I said week 1 earlier uh, but anyway, thanks for everybody for watching and we'll catch you for the next one